Hey guys, my name is Bart Kamski and this is Unreal Engine 4 Minutes tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make auto fire. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's open our first person blueprint folder, blueprints in it and first person character. Here I already have my spawn projectile input action fire. You probably also have um, touchpad input, but I remove it. Um, if you want to check where this com comes from, you can go to project settings and go to input. And here is define our fire event. So we have it here. Uh, if I press Alt, I can uh, remove this line. And what we have to do is we need to use gate. And every time we press uh, input action fire, we open the gate. And every time we release action fire, we close the gate. And we have to put sequence in loop of events that goes through this gate. So let's do that. First, we need to split our pressed um, event using sequence. Here we go. And first we need to have our gate and first we need to open it. So let's type gate. Here we go. But this doesn't go to enter. It goes to open and release closes the gate. And from here we need to trigger our sequence of uh, actions to, 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 to fire. Um, so we're going to use timer. So let's type set timer by event here we go and from the event let's drag and add custom event and let's name it auto fire here we go and this is the interval so let's promote this to variable and name it interval this is the time between every shot and we're gonna set it to 0 0.05 so it's gonna trigger 20 times a second it's gonna be a fast machine gun and what is happening now when we press uh, action fire, it opens the gate, then it triggers the timer by event. And after some time, it will trigger our event. So we can put our event through the gate now, but I'm not uh, setting up a timer to looping to go to go uh, in loop, but every time our timer triggers the event this event reset the timer so we made a loop but if we close the gate this action stops so we have what we want let's check how that works yeah it works i will show you once again we press action fire we split it First, we open the gate, then we trigger timer by event. The timer uh, plays first uh, action fire, then after 0.05 seconds triggers auto fire. Auto fire goes through a gate, it's reset the timer and again plays our action and it's happening, happening, happening until we release our action fire, so we close the gate and we stop this loop. As you can hear, the sound stops after some point. I can show you how is that happening. At the end, we have play sound at location. Um, I also changed the multiplier volume multiplier to 0.3 because the sound is, is a bit annoying. But if we navigate to the sound and we open it and we go right down when there are concurrency settings and override concurrency is already uh, set up and the max count of um, sounds that can be played at one time is 16 and after that the resolution rule is prevent new that's why our sound stops so we can just change it to stop oldest so after 16 it will stop the oldest sound but not prevent new sound yeah I have a lot of fun with Auto Fire. I hope, guys, you have much fun too as well. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a like if I help you, and I see you next time.